Hey Gemini, what's up Gemini? Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus, or whatever you guys have Gemini in your chart. Do keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all these Geminis out there. But if it does, show your girl some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. All right, so let's hop into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you guys. We're going to start out with a spirit message and see where your energy is at before we take a deeper look into your love life, okay? All right, let's see what's going on with my Gemini. Let's see, Gemini. So we have Butterfly, number 15. So it says Rebirth transformation hope change maturity guidance protection and happy life so some of you guys are definitely going through some type of rebirth or transformation it's a lot of change coming into your life or a lot of things have changed some of you guys could be maturing all right evolving growing spiritually um there is a lot of per um sorry i'm about to say a lot of you guys are about to be happy and I was going to say, also make sure you guys protect your energy at this time or just in general. All right. There is some guidance and help and support around you as well, Gemini. Okay. Um, some of you guys can have a butterfly tattoo, like with flowers and a butterfly. Because there's a flower here with the butterfly. Some of you guys may be seeing butterflies. Okay. But butterflies definitely talk about rebirth, rebirth sorry, growth, transformation. All right. So let's hop into your love reading. Let's see what's going on with you and your person. Let's see how your person is currently feeling, what's on their mind, what they're really all about, you know, their energy towards you, this relationship. Let's see. Give me a message for Gemini. I have abandonment issues. I grew up in a single parent household. I have a rough childhood. This came out for Aries as well. So maybe your person just has like abandonment issues. Okay. So maybe they don't, you know, maybe it's hard for them to love. They don't know how to love. You know, due to their abandonment issues, maybe due to growing up in a single, you know, parent household, maybe they have some mother or father healing to do. This can also, you know, resonate with you as well, Gemini. We have stalker alert. I check up on you often. All right. So this person, you know, even though they got their issues and stuff going on, this person still, you know, checks up on you, stalks you, goes to your page, pops up, sees what you're all about, what you're doing. Let's see. Let me get another message for Gemini. I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. So that can also be an issue too. I tried to replace you, but it didn't work out because I'm madly in love with you. And I was fighting it. I knew this. I know this is divine. So I want to know what this is about. I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. Let's get some messages for Gemini. turn their back on somebody that this is somebody that doesn't want to turn their back on somebody that they love and somebody that makes them happy so gemini that's how your person can be feeling i also want to look into this really quick i didn't know if my family was going to accept you what is this about let me see go into this energy for gemini why did this come out yeah for some of you guys that was the issue their family just really didn't care for you their family still talks to the ex or still deals with the ex. It could be a Virgo. could be a Scorpio. But they were saying a lot of negative things. The death card. Page of Swords. Yeah. Their family was kind of hoping that they were going to get back with somebody else. Or they just didn't like really care for you. They also looked at you as, you know, one of the, you like just many girls that they dated or talked to. Or many men that they dated or talked to. But then they took you serious and that kind of made them mad. But also, Gemini, not to say it like this, but for some of you guys, the person you were dealing with 
actually pushed it forward due to the things that their family was saying, you know, but they are in love with you. But then even though they pushed it forward, got with you, married you, committed to you or whatever, it still was causing an issue or problem with their family because their family didn't like you. You know, their mom, sister, somebody could have been jealous of your looks, your body, you know, just how you are, how you carry yourself. If you're a male, like looks, you know, the things you have, maybe their brother, their father, somebody was jealous. I see some jealousy there. Okay. So like, that's why. But this person is madly in love with you. Okay, so let's see. Let's hop in, y'all. Let's look at their energy towards this relationship. Gemini, what is your person's energy towards this relationship? Eight of Swords in their head. How do they feel about you? Ace of Pentacles. What are they hiding? Queen of Cups. How do other people see and view this relationship? Six of Pentacles. Is there someone else on their mind? Nine of Pentacles. Their future intentions towards this relationship. The Queen of Swords. And how will this relationship move forward? We got the Devil. So there could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Cancer. Involved. So... There's definitely some jealousy and some hating here. Like I said. I feel like this is either their family or somebody that they had a family with. They can be like, for example, the baby mom doesn't like your person. Or the baby mom doesn't like you. Or your child's father or your, the mother of your child doesn't like. It's something like that. Like the, the mother of their child doesn't like you or the father of your child doesn't like them. It could be something like that too. As far as like the family part. But. Because if you have kids with somebody. Y'all are technically, technically considered family. But some people don't look at it like that. But let's see. Alright let's see. We got this eight of swords here. This is their energy towards the relationship. So you know they're in their head. They have a lot on their mind. This person could be really stressed out right now. Gemini. You know, kind of feeling powerless with the Eight of Swords, feeling mentally restricted, not knowing what to do. They could be very emotional all, and all over the place because there's water at the bottom. Even though they're tied up, like this, this is, could be just very emotional for them. This could be a lot for them. Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, and I feel like you've been like, I'm not going to say you've been kind of cold, but they feel like you've been kind of like cold and not really showing emotion and maybe kind of putting pressure on them. So they could be feeling some type of way and like just really in their head, Gemini. That is your energy there. You have the seven of pentacles. So they've been doing a lot of thinking. Some of you guys could have gave them an ultimatum or made them decide like, is it me, our relationship, or them, or your family, or whatever. Um, because you feel like on your end, you have nothing to think about. You know what you want. But you're like telling them like they need to hurry up, make up their mind. So you guys are definitely making them like they feel under pressure with you right now. But they do want to be with you. The Empress is here. This is Libra, Taurus, Energy. See, but then we got the Eight of Swords here. So, go on to this, um, the Queen of Swords reverse. The Nine of Swords reverse. Mm, the Fortune. So, this is you guys' energy. The Queen of Swords reverse can be like an ex or like the mother or sister or somebody that doesn't like you. Like I said, it could be the mother or the child. Somebody that is mad that y'all are moving it forward. Somebody that's trying to be difficult. You know, somebody that's being a bitch, pretty much being difficult, saying shit, you know, trying to get you upset, um, trying to start things in their head as well. Okay, so that's also what I'm getting. So, like, somebody is just, like, pushing them all in their head, like, and it's making them think. But I feel like there's nothing to think about when they know they want to be with you. So, that's interesting. The king of swords they feel like they can't come talk to you about certain things when it comes to this other relationship it was really stressing them out and they're trying to walk away from it and handle it the best way they they can the eight of cups is here nine of swords they're like really stressed out and they're like okay i'm trying to handle it the best way i can but they feel like they can't tell you certain things because they do feel like you're going to get upset or they feel like it's just not going to change or fix the situation you know with this other person or their family their ex whoever this is okay so let's see why this ace of pentacles is here That's how they feel about you. So, yeah, like I said, they know that you're who they want to be with. The high priestess is here. But there's some issues with the past. That's what I'm saying. Either it's a Passover, the mother or father to their child, 
it's a hating ass sibling, a hating ass mother, a hating ass egg. It's somebody that doesn't want to see y'all happy. Okay? I would say give or take about, give it about seven to like nine more weeks. This person is like either going to have somebody in their life or this person is just going to decide not to really mess with y'all. Or like not to make it a big deal or, you know, come between y'all relationship. They're going to like let it go eventually. But the more y'all be, the more y'all stay serious and true and like try to work on it and fix it and don't let these people get in between you guys, then they're gonna eventually like let it go. But somebody is like being a real true bi and just on some other shit, you know. Somebody is like very negative, talking bad about the other person, you know. So it could even be Gemini that you move forward and you're in a relationship and your ex is just like talking about your new person or whoever you're with. It could be something like that too. All right, there's just a lot of like. He say, she say, drama, or somebody in somebody else's head, somebody, you know, still wanting to be with somebody, somebody kind of feels like a little salty, jealous, something like that. Now, let's see what they're hiding. We have the Queen of Cups here. Ten of Swords. Three of Cups. Mm. So, there is some lies. Okay, so let me see. So they were still telling this other person that they cared for them. That's what this is about too, Gemini. They were still telling them like, oh, I care about you. There could be a child involved. See, and they were being messy. So Gemini, it's not just the other person. It's your person too. They were being messy. They were just telling them like, oh, I'm only with them for the child. Or I'm only with them because they're pregnant. I don't know if I want to be with them. Even though they wanted to be with you, they were still kind of, you know. Yeah, Gemini, they were on some funny shit. You know, still telling this person that they cared about them. They could have been with this person longer than they've been with you, you know. But it seems like even though they were with them longer, one of you got something more than the other person or something like that. You know, but Seven of Swords reverse. Yep, they were still like going over there, seeing them, talking to them. It doesn't have to be that it was sexual, but they still could have been like being friends with them, talking to them, texting, chatting, flirting, taking things a little too far. Maybe got this other person excited, you know. Um, so there's still like either some feelings there, or they still care, or at least that's what this other person is thinking. Cause they're just like, okay, if your person doesn't care about me, then why are they still messaging me? Why are they calling me? Why are they over here fixing shit? Why are they offering to do this or pay for this or do that? So yeah, your person has some wrong in this too, Gemini. They definitely did. So I don't know, Gemini. Let's see why the Six of Pentacles is here. This is how people see and view this relationship. I mean, they are truly you over this other person, but still, somebody was just a little too friendly. Somebody sees it as, okay. Well, I mean, prove them wrong. Some people see it as like over and done with, and they're just giving in to you for right now. And that it was shortly in, you know, they feel like y'all are going to have some ups and downs again. But like I said, the more y'all come together and prove everybody wrong and not just be together to prove people wrong, but really put the time and energy and effort into this relationship, it can actually really work out, Gemini. I do see that. I do see good energy towards y'all coming together and really working it out. Y'all got to get rid of the, um, you know, the outsiders. Y'all got to get rid of them mm -hmm. and focus on y'all. I don't see them leaving you. I don't see them you know, choosing nobody else or this other person. But the Seven of Swords is like, let me see. The thing is, is that they're still kind of lying to some people about y'all though. You know, like, oh no, like we're just getting along. Like it, we're cool. You know, we're trying to figure things out. We're trying to work it out for the, the child. But, and it's like, Really, y'all are getting back together, you know? So, their plan is game, though. They're telling people, like, no, nah, I wouldn't get back with them. They're even arguing with some people, like, no, nah, why would I get back with them, da, da, da. But y'all are going to get back together. So, I don't know why they don't want to tell people y'all are getting back together. See, look, because a lot of people have things to say. And uh, y'all had a bad breakup before. The way y'all broke up, the way things ended, it was bad. It was terrible. So, some people just have shit to say. And they're like, all this that y'all went through, everything you said, like, you gonna get back with them? That's what this is. So there's like they want to get back with you, but they're just feeding off what other people are saying. Two. Let's see how the nine of pentacles is here. Or is there someone else on their mind? 
No, but whoever this is, they're single and waiting for them. Somebody is patiently waiting for them and wants to be with them. Mm -hmm. Their ex still gets happy and excited about them, but they don't want to move forward with them. Even if things weren't to work out with y'all. But the thing is, also, they want to keep the peace with their ex or they want to get along with their ex. And they feel like if y'all get together, then they can't get a, then they can't be friends or get along with their ex. They feel like that's going to be an issue for you. Maybe because of they could have dealt with this ex while y'all were together or something. But it's like they feel like they have to lie and hide the fact that they talk to the ex or deal with the ex or something like that. Especially if there's a child involved. They feel like there's just too much tension and drama and they got to keep y'all separated. But they feel like that person's always going to be a part of their life. So they're gonna, there's going to be times where they're going to lie to you and tell you like, no, I'm not dealing with them or talking to them. And they are. And that is the ex that I feel like the family likes. Remember when I pulled the cards at first? That's who the family likes. Mm -hmm. Let me see why this Queen of Swords is here. For their future intentions toward this relationship. So they're going to do something that's going to piss you off. It's going to test the relationship. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen this year. It's going to test the relationship. Could be with a Sagittarius um, or a Leo. And it's going to have you feeling like, like, I don't know if I can do this. I see you guys being really mad, really hurt, really upset. Let's see why the devil is here for how the relationship would move forward. Capricorn energy. They still have some like type of tire attachment or some type of unhealthy attachment to their past. Yep. There's a karmic connection here with their past. And I'm going to tell you this, Gemini. I know y'all don't like to hear this, but it's they're still getting over them. They still have feelings for the ex. They're still getting over them. And that's what this is about, too. And they can put their, they can act funny and get defensive and oh, no, this and that. But there still is, I love their, you know. And this ex keeps getting them in trouble with you. Even though they want to be with you. I feel like this was their first love. You know, maybe they had their first born with them. Or they just went through a lot. They have a lot of history. There's something there. But they have to, they're going to have to detach themselves from this person. If y'all are going to be together. And then it's like this other person is hurting. I know y'all don't give a fuck, but the other person is hurting because they let them go and then they come back into the life or they let them go and then they come. When y'all have problems, they go to them or something like that. They're going to have to figure that out, especially if they really are claiming they want to be with you. Like I'm seeing, y'all can move forward, yes, but they got to figure out what they're going to do with this ex. Because, yeah, like, their family doesn't like you and they don't know if they're going to accept y'all getting back together. And I feel like that's why. I feel like that's why. Who, like, over here, like, I, like they're going to run into somebody. I'm like, are you serious? It's, like, a lot. I feel like they're, they want to be with you or y'all are together, but they're living a lot or something like that. It's something like that. Because if they can't tell their family or friends or people, like, oh, I got back together without worrying about what somebody else is saying, then they're living a lie. And that's, that to me would be a problem. We have guilt. See, there's some guilt here. Sabotage. We have detachment code. And I feel like when their family or certain friends or people come around, that's when they start to act funny towards you. All right? We got your energy air sign. Or you could be dealing with another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody is going through some type of spiritual awakening at this time. And look, what did I say? They need to stand in their truth. This person needs to, if they, if they're going to give you something stable, solid, or they want to rebuild a foundation or come together, they need to be honest and true with themselves. They need to be truthful and honest, speak some truth. They need to be true with themselves first. Your ancestors are around you and helping you, uh, you know, guide you through this situation. We have regret. See, and they're going to regret letting you go for the past because the past is not who they want to really be with. The past is just somebody that they have history and love and feelings for. But they don't want to be with that person. We got twin flames and we got distance retreat. So there could be a this could be a twin flame connection. Maybe the other person they were with was a twin flame connection. We do have some twin flame energy over here towards the end, you know. Um, but then that can also be a karmic connection because that's what a lot of people don't understand. Twin flame relationships are karmic. They're toxic, right? So it could be that 
as well. Mm. Let's pull some physical um, feature cards and then we're going to pull some characteristic cards, Gemini. So we got petite. So some of you guys can be petite. Wear glasses. She got her sunglasses on. Or can be regular glasses. We got beauty marks. Bald. So you or your person could be bald or have a low haircut. Beauty marks for glasses. Petite. We got beard. So you guys can be dealing with somebody that's bald with a beard. All right. We got red head. So y'all can be a red head or your person. I have like ginger color, black clothing, so somebody always wears black. We got tattoos. Uh oh, you or your person can have a lot of tattoos, maybe do tattoos. has pets reserved and chill this person has braces familiarity has a disability so you are this person could have like that pool um let me see we got shoe lover so maybe you know y'all love y'all sneakers or y'all heels maybe both y'all got you know good shoe game okay let's see we have dimples we have beautiful eyes Sex, sex, and more sex. So maybe y'all have a lot of sex, you know. Y'all be staring into each other's eyes. Somebody could have a deep, well, your person could have a deep, attractive voice. Are you if you're a male watching? We have different ethnic background, and we have flirtatious. Okay, so that can describe you are your person, Gemini. Okay? So that is what I have for you, Geminis. That is your reading. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys love to book with me, fireintuition.com. Alrighty, bye Gemini.